Hey guys and welcome back to GTA. This is episode number 30 of the walkthrough. And we're going over to the Bureau Federal something or other. People. To uh yeah, have a little chat. So I don't know if it's uh what uh Tre we did with Trevor in the last episode or what, but uh yeah, that's uh let's find out. Wait, hang on. Wait, this is Trevor. Do we just go through the back or what? Okay, we need to go upstairs by the looks of it. There we go. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh yeah, it's easy to mark, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax, I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? But because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So... Far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off. Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. God, I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A-right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes! Woo! Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Okay, let's go. Let's get, get in the car. car. Franklin doesn't seem to be involved with this. It just seems to be uh, Michael and Trevor. And I don't know if you can hear outside, guys, but someone, I don't know what they're doing. Someone seems to have just started playing around the motor of the car or something. The like engine, either it's a motorbike or what, but yeah, they seem to uh, just start. So apologies if you can hear that in the background. Let me call Lester. We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? 
Oh yeah, listen, we're gonna do a score. I don't know how big, a uh, oh, big-ish score. Two mil. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. Normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac. Psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, D. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor. Hipsters, I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why, well, because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else Starting the cycle all over again. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man. Knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Okay, here we go. Draw to the bank. I sh this is the uh, be the, the pre the bank. set pre pre set up. That's the thing. I will go to the front of the bank. Clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> there it is. That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. They'll take us around back. Okay. Drive to the lot next door, okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote, it's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Drive over to the empty lot with the open top dumpster in it. Shit!
Wait, we're meant, we're meant to go there. There we go. Mm, it's not ideal. It's going to cost more to break that system than the score is going to pay. Well, we're going to have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Where's the alarm? Okay, shoot it. Got it. Oh, done. Okay, I brought my police scanner. And drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor. And we'll monitor chatter. Right. I'm sure there's an easy way to get out of there. Oh, there was. Four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby, and it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. The cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still fed. Sooner than your ass. I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running. Very smart because Trevor's office, okay. We're definitely going to win. We've got four miles needed to drive. Oh my god, that deer just got run <laughs> That deer just got run over. And turn. A little bit past it, but... You know, we did it. We coped. Uh, to the right. Going. So we got up over the mountain. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's another deer. Was that another deer? I think it was. Whoa, I thought it was going to fly off then. Oh, oh my god, I thought, it, I thought that was going to hit us. I thought it was going to go in front of us and we were going to go absolutely flying. Okay, under the mountain we go. Are we trying to outrun the, the cops? See if we can beat them, perhaps? This could be a practice for the real thing. Oh, that's bright. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, Trevor dies. You know, I guess, you know, kind of my fault, but I thought we would have survived that. Okay. Hey, wheelchair. Or not. All over again. We're still faster than your ass. Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. Gotta go. Right, there you go. Radio off. Smoking. Okay, let's do this again.
hope you are so I'm skipping I'm going up here oh my god we could die again whoa I don't know if we just skipped out some of the journey or not, but nevertheless, it was a different way. We're certainly ahead of Michael, that's for sure. I oh, know he's up here. I feel like that was a lot quicker just doing that. Okay, we will not fly off the end this time. We would be more careful. Can't see. Much better. Much better. Ah, not far to go now. So I guess we've got to come up on the board. It's going to come in for a couple of ways we can get in and get out. So I feel like I want to do the... I feel like I don't want to do stealthy. It could be a bit... Well, not really boring, but just maybe just not as exciting. So I'll probably do, you know, full guns blazing. And yeah, do it that way. But I have to see what the choices are. Oh, got a bit far down there. We are nearly back. And we have won. I mean, we haven't won yet, but um, they're not going to catch us. Famous last words. Went the wrong way as well. Don't crash. Good. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on? Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice is someone, choose good. someone okay. good. Yeah. Think about my buddy Chef, okay? Consummate professional. Okay, so Chef's accuracy and weapon, ch weapon choice is a lot better. His shoot rate is just slightly lower. And his health. But it's 2% less. I'm going to go for Chef. I'm going to pick him. You sure this is the guy? Yeah, I'm sure. 
Okay, so that... Oh, so we've only got one... Uh, I've oh, got plan A and plan B. That should do. I'll get I didn't pick. I didn't pick though. Michael, you reach out to Franklin, Trevor. Mm. You do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but you know, me casa su casa. I, I'll get a motel. Thanks. Right, show. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Mm. Nice, he's been sick. Sweet, mission pass. Palato score set up. Nice, I thought I had to get out. Is it through here? Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll get some uh, things coming through about the heist, heist missions, uh, like set up missions that we've got to do. We've also got this with uh, Franklin down here. So uh, yeah, we might uh, go and do that next episode. We'll just have to wait and see where uh, something comes up. But with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time after we listen to this one, Franklin. Okay, well, it's got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. Okay, so I think we might actually stay as uh, Trevor. And we'll go pick Michael up from his little uh, house over here. Our safe house. And uh, yeah, we will go and do that next episode. So thanks very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.